Hey Cloud Gurus and welcome to this episode of Azure This Week. In this episode, we're going to look at three updates from Microsoft Azure. Immutable blob storage is now in public preview. User behavior analytics in Application Insights are now generally available. And finally, there's a new free ebook available on serverless architectures. Let's get started with the public preview of immutable blob storage. Often enterprises have a requirement to store business critical data in a write once, read many state, more commonly referred to as WORM. This means that data can be created and read, but cannot be modified or erased for a user specified period of time. This feature is available in public preview in Azure Blob Storage from today in all public Azure regions. Typical applications for this feature include those that have regulatory compliance requirements for WORM, typically in the financial services industry, and those applications that store data related to litigation or criminal investigation. You can implement immutable blob storage by creating either a time-based retention policy or a legal hold policy, and then applying that policy to your storage container, whether that be an existing container or a new one. If you apply to an existing container, then that policy is applied to existing and newly created blobs that reside inside that container. Immutable blob storage supports all blob storage tiers from hot down to archive, and there is no additional charge for using this feature. Next up is the general availability of user behavior analytics tools in Azure Application Insights. Application Insights is Microsoft's Application Performance Monitoring, or APM tool, and it's traditionally used to monitor performance, reliability, and availability of your web applications. Well, in addition to all of that, you can now monitor your user's behavior within your application in order to gain business insight as well. There are a total of eight user analytics tools that have gone GA as part of the announcement. Users, sessions, events, user flows, retention, cohorts, funnels, and impact. These tools all enable you to answer business questions about your applications, such as how many users tried a new feature in my app? What flow did a user take throughout the pages in my web app? which group or cohort of users are most engaged with certain features, and many more. To get started, there's a whole bunch of quick starts and tutorials for a number of programming languages at the link below. And finally, Jeremy Lickness, a senior cloud developer advocate at Microsoft, has authored a new ebook titled Serverless Apps, Architecture Patterns, and Azure. This book is completely free, and it's a really nice guide to building and designing serverless applications on Azure. I had a quick read and I really like how it weighs up the pros and cons of your initial decision to go with serverless before diving into what Azure has to offer in that space. And it goes way beyond just functions. It covers logic apps, event grid, and some more components too, which is really nice. It then takes you through a ton of architectural patterns and scenarios to get you a nice real world feel of where you could start to experiment with or use serverless within your own applications. What you won't get here is a deep dive into each of the relevant Azure products. It's definitely targeted at developers and architects who are looking to consider serverless for their next app and are starting to think about the feasibility and what their architecture looks like. You can grab a copy of the ebook at the link below. And that's it for this episode of Azure This Week, where we looked at the public preview of immutable blob storage, general availability of user behaviors in Application Insights, and a new free ebook on serverless architectures. Until next week, keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus.